Hey, Katrina, what are you doing here? Oh, I had study abroad forms to sign, and I needed your money, so I came home. <laughs> oh. She needed money. Yep, I understand that. Okay, well, we have to go make some money now, then. All right. Well, you couldn't have picked a colder day for it. It is hey, pretty cold. I have a good hat, though. It may not keep me warm, but it will keep me fashionable. Yeah, there you go. Gonna have to find a better hat. Oh, no, we gotta make sure it's like John Deere is right in the center. Yeah. What do we got going today, Kenny? Um, I've got a new little shed right there for all my grandkids' toys. Okay. And but when I put that there to get them out of the garage, because they just take up the garage, my trash cans lost their home. I'm gonna go right back over here, dig up the ground, put gravel in there, move the trash cans to a new home. Okay. Yeah, see, we have a shed, but it's not for kids' toys, it's for dad's toys. Yeah, dad's well, toys. But my, mine, are, mine are back in the back. <laughs> so my, dad, have, my dad's toy sheds are in the back. You have a separate shed for your toys. Yeah. From for grandkids' yeah. toys. Okay. So when I was here last time, I believe I saw a post in there. A, a you you did see a post. Line pole. You did see a post. And you got that out on your own. No. I walked up to it. I thought, I wonder how wiggly it is to see if I could dig up the concrete myself. And I pushed it, and it fell over. It's kind of like at the end of a football game when your team wins. <laughs> you run out and push over the yeah, goalpost. Yeah, push over the goalpost. <laughs> the concrete's still there, and the, the bottom of the uh, post was just gone. That sounds like a project. It rotted off. For Johnny. You know, I think we'll try this with the loader. Okay. And the reason is because I don't think my little backhoe is big enough to dump into your trailer. Okay. And so I think we'll try to run in there. We'll probably have to use the backhoe to get some of the depth that we need and some of the detail work, but I think we'll try it with the loader, with the tube bar. What's that? That, will, that was... Well, the, that's the uh, post. Yeah, that was the post. Oops. We'll have to dig that out with the backhoe, probably. So you're really wanting from uh, from here to right over there, same distance, this yeah, to be this deeper. Is, this is going to be the deeper area that I'll put the gravel in, and it's like what's laying on the ground over there. We'll scoop that up and just pour it back here. And then if you can just reach back and scrape all of this, this is that Joe Pye weed. Yeah. Within, okay. within the chalk marks and then maybe. Okay, let's see what we can do. Too. just for that uh, clothesline post. They must have had some heavy britches to hang on there. What do you want to do with that thing? Probably haul it around in the back when you're done. <laughs> Kenny, you've got a really nice grade 70 chain here. You and I are trying to debate whether it's quarter inch or 5 sixteenths. Uh, a lot of times you see a 5 sixteenths hook on a quarter inch chain. So we can't tell for sure, but this is grade 70. You can see it on the hooks. You can tell by the fact that it's gold. And you can tell by the fact that on every link on this one, it says G70. That's a clue, isn't it, right there, Kenny? Yes, it is. But if you're looking for a log chain, we call them log chains on the farm, I don't know, but if you're looking for a chain, this is the this is the one to get. If you get any larger than 5 16 they get heavy, really fast. A quarter inch is a very nice size chain for a, a little subcompact like this. 
So you got you got a good chain here, Ken. I think Thanks. I'm going to steal it. Okay. Uh oh. You don't tell you're somebody. You're going to do it in front of me. You want me to turn around? <laughs> Now, I don't know a whole lot about composting, Ken, but I don't think this thing is going to compost really quickly. Yeah, in 70 to 80 years, <laughs> it, it'll be gone. It'll so will I, so I don't guess it, I care. Yeah. <laughs> I won't see it either. <laughs> After I had pulled that big hunk of concrete out of there, it generated this huge hole right there off the sidewalk, and I just wasn't able to get that big pile of flowers or roots or whatever they are pulled back there. So check out this idea. First notice that my right wheel's spinning, so I have to hit Ken's differential lock pedal, then I can go backwards. So I pull this large root wad right there into that hole. This allows me to get in there and get the rest of those roots out of there. This is Ken's little trailer, and it's perfect to hold this yard waste. That noise you hear is Ken's lawnmower. Now I'm having trouble getting that big root wad loaded. Don't freak out at this solution. She's always holding on to something. It'll be fine. I think Ken has access to some family property. He was going to take this waste to that property uh, so that he could dispose of it easily. How was your ride? It was fine, actually. It was kind of fun. It, uh, I guess I am useful for something. Okay, let's stop right here and talk about that just a little bit. I'm sure that that broke every safety rule in the book. But I don't see, quite frankly, anything unsafe about what we did right there. Nothing whatsoever. I never felt unsafe. No. This is one of the examples of, of how we struggle with some of the, the legal aspects of the safety issues. Yeah. Is that we didn't have any other way to get that loaded on there. And Christy was able to, to tip the balance of that thing and hang on to the tractor at the same time. There was really no risk whatsoever. And you were going really slow, wasn't it? I was looking right at you. We, if anything had gone awry, yeah. we would have we would have stopped really quick. I just, I find it really difficult. So I know some of you are probably gonna uh, complain about this, 
but it was safe. And we got it done. I never felt uncomfortable or like I wasn't safe. Especially not really pushing. I, yeah, not yeah. even pushing the edge at all. No, I just squatted down, held on. Yeah, I mean this wasn't this wasn't even close. Yeah. We have been in some situations where afterwards we've said, yeah, you know that that probably was on the edge. This right, wasn't one yeah. of them. Now if you just like skim these off here just slightly. Oh, you want those bushes too? Yeah. This heavy hitch tooth bar really does help to dig up those flowers. In case you haven't seen this tooth bar in a video before, you can get one of these at heavyhitch.com. Coupon code TTWT and you'll get a 5% discount at checkout. This discount applies to all heavy hitch products, so check them out. Now we're going to take these rocks, put them in that hole. Easy enough. The top two or three inches here are frozen. Ken, we've, uh, I guess we're about done. Nothing left but the paperwork. That's disappointing because, well, no more Johnny work. You know, this, this project's been really interesting because there's several different aspects to it. We had to use a, a backhoe. It would have been difficult, at least, to have gotten that big piece of concrete out with a loader on it. I had no idea that was so big. So we, we had to have the backhoe for that part of the project. The loader was really good to be able to to get the to get the dirt and the roots and everything out of there. Um, it was nice to have tires instead of tracks, so we could go over your yard to take the stuff back into the back. And then it was nice to have the smooth part of the loader to pick up the rock off your asphalt. Yeah. Here. I guess what I'm saying is a lot of variety of tasks all done by this little compact tractor. You know, we get a lot of people saying, "Oh, you need a skid steer, or you need this, or you need that," but. It would have been hard to beat this guy in this test today. Yeah, it did it. Size-wise, things like that. It was really a small job, but it's something I didn't want to dig. Those roots that you were pulling out of there. That would have been a lot of work by hand. 
It sure would have been. Really appreciate you having us over, Ken. It's always nice to oh, see great. you on our videos. Great having you come over, and it's been fun. Check out our website, press the subscribe button, and that little bell right beside it so you get notifications. And we'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Katrina, you need to look at your mom. Take the camera and look at your mom. What'd I do? <laughs> Give her a little education on how to wear a stocking cap. There you go. <laughs> I have no mirror, okay? <laughs> That was kind of unfair, wasn't it? It was kind of unfair. Yeah. I'm going back to the truck, <laughs> sitting in the heat. <laughs>